All right, it's Tuesday. Started off pretty well. Already got some some things on the calendar for the day. Some people started the day super early. Uh, today's plan is build out a portal. I'm gonna spend probably 80% of my day in meetings with other people. So my goal in those meetings is to make sure that whatever we're trying to accomplish, I accomplish in those meetings. I don't want to have a meeting to then take action. I want that meeting to be the action such that when we finish the meeting, I know that I have given them my time, given them what they needed to succeed and, and vice versa. And, and I think that's super important when you're looking at your day, you know, not, you, we don't want to meet just for meeting's sake. Um, certainly there's some awesome social activities and those are very important, but on, in a work context, right, if we're meeting, I want to make sure I'm getting, you know, the things done that they needed uh, me to get done, either me for them or them for me. And uh, so that's super important. Um, but I'm, you know, about to zip downtown, want to really focus on, you know, getting the, this portal up and running. I feel like I have been stalling a little bit and uh, it's due now. So, time to rock and roll. Excited about the full day. Um, got a little aerobic piece later on the night. And then I have meetings again all the way to day 39. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna pack a, a dinner tonight so that we can eat um, at that late meeting. So uh, I can go a little bit longer. So, that's it. Keep going, enjoying the day. Let's go. So I'm really spending a lot of time right now on pricing strategy and theory and really trying to you know, come up with the most sensible strategy. And like to break this down, so when people are always talk about like, well, like, how do you make the right price? How do you consider the marketplace dynamics around it? Right, number one, from a business perspective, I am really focused on what is, what's gonna cover my cost? what is going to make the best value to my clients and what is going to allow me to pay a sustainable wage to my team, right? Because that's the goal, is to create something that can live and grow and help people change their lives. So for pricing, like number one, you have to have the economics to fit that. But number two, I have levers Levers, so pricing levers, right? The amount of times so that we talk to somebody, the complexity of the product that is delivered, the, the speed of it, right? The, the richness of it, um, the different you know, time invested in each one. So all these levers allow for variability in price. But it also means that you know, it's not like I'm making like a cup of coffee. You know, I, uh, Putting it, you know, it costs three dollars for the beans and one dollar for the cup and two dollars for the employees. So it's that's the price. Um, so for the pricing strategy, spending a lot of time, really, you know, have set the economics and I've set the offering that I want to be because I want to give a specific experience. But now the challenge is what are the right price points? And I don't want to create so many that I have to manage so many. But I do want to honestly put a couple options out there and see which ones resonate with my, my, my clients, my to-be clients, right? If you price it and it's too low, I can't afford the staff to do the work. If I price it too high, um, maybe it's out of range. So currently what I'm doing right now is I have found a kind of high, medium, and low pricing tier that I'm further I've set. And my goal there is to set it so that if it's all of them, um, I can economically deliver a good value and provide sustainable wage. Uh, but the idea is that the higher touch ones are higher priced. So that way I can respect the time investment so that it's sustainable and that the value and the cost match up. Uh, I have a program of a programmatic type program that I want to offer to for like fun things like run a 5k, run a 10k. I decided not to list that on this pricing tier because I think it's so specialized. Um, having it there confuses the pricing and the value. It has a different kind of value, a different kind of program than the others. 
so that's what I'm on. I've been digging on this for two hours, and I feel like I'm getting some clarity, but I wanted to kind of check in and share what I'm seeing and really press that forward. So that's it for now. So, I had a crazy last couple hours, been putting together the landing page, feeling really excited about the kind of the layout and the setup and the just kind of really good vibe around it. Um, I actually just got a phone call from one of my teams where, you know, I'm working on a new process and like just doing this big strategy work. And then, you know, one of the team members is actually kind of working on a sub element. And I think like I need to spend some time now not just getting on the same page. And so I really want to stress the importance of communicating, kind of where you want a path, what your path is, and then how people can participate and play in it. Too often, I think we're like, oh, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this, and then when I'm ready to share, I'll share. But when you do that, people are still trying to solve problems. People are still trying to do good things. And so, you know, you, you have to include them in the discovery and in the process, so that they can participate, encourage, support, um, especially as things go along. Because the last thing you want to do is have a conversation saying. Like, hey, stop your hard work. I'm, I'm really glad you're passionate, but like, I want to do it. Like, no, like, <laughs> we need to draw that energy in the same path. One thing I have learned is that you have to kind of go with the flow. Um, working on lots of big projects and lots of different systems, right? Things change, people change, and so one challenge that I have is sometimes when we're working with groups, either like we're not matching expectations or their initiatives you know, cross over to kind of things that, you know, you might be working on and I was working on. And so just kind of just recently today just was working on something and suddenly all the access that I was using got changed, right, which completely shut down my ability to meet certain objectives. So, you know, how to be mindful of those things, try to communicate kind of what, where those parties are playing, but then also really just, you know, I, I just have to appreciate sometimes that changes and, um, you know, give the, the baton and the work back to those people that are now taking over. So that's it, a little lesson. These late car rides are becoming a, a habit. So just had an, an awesome training session, did a little aerobic work, some sprints, a little long distance, kind of like a triathlon. And then I got to uh, coach a bunch of athletes, which was amazing. And I did some strongman work, uh, coached around some different positions and movements. You know, you do strongman to really kind of work with odd objects, kind of build, um, correct all these imbalances. So that was really cool to see. And then I um, coached one of the, uh, the aerobic classes. Um, just good work. Just, just, just work. Um, negatively, I got added to some spam lists. So I am cleaning up all the uh, 46 um, accounts that I'm getting hit with. So, so far they're decent and they're respectable people and it's working out. But that's frustrating. Um, got food in the car, gotta get, you, gotta get your food, and then I'm gonna head over to a meeting right now, and um, we're gonna work for about an hour. I'm hoping to kind of find some ways we can team together. He's a super talented young man, and would love to have him part of the team. So, that's it, just uh, putting a little work in. Uh, I'm thinking after that, if I'm feeling good, I'm gonna stay there. I've got a nice design for the new landing site, and uh, really just jamming on that. So excited, really excited about the Thanksgiving holiday. Things are getting a little bit more chill and a little bit more fun and people are a little more relaxed and planning some time with people. So uh, I'm excited about that. So gotta take the time when people are around. It's the best, just gotta do it. So, uh, and I'm out. Travel got changing.